Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another Jurassic World Dominion video. In today's video, we'll be answering the question as to whether or not the Therizinosaurus was blind during the events of Jurassic World Dominion. So if you're excited for that and you want to see more Jurassic content, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. As for today's video, the current like goal target we're setting is the target of 2000 likes. Yes, this may be a little bit more of an ask than usual, but I believe that we can do it. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the channel lately, and especially to those who keep coming back here for your daily Jurassic content. We've recently done a full trailer breakdown on the new Camp Cretaceous Season 5 trailer, so if you want to see how Camp Cretaceous connects to Jurassic World Dominion in a greater light, be sure to go on over and check out that video after watching this one. And obviously, the spoiler free weekend ended back on June 13th, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, spoilers will be in this video. Jurassic World Dominion has been in cinemas for the past two weeks, for the majority of the world. And with the release of the movie comes an introduction of some brand new species. Species such as the Pyroraptor, Quetzalcoatlus, Microceratus, and who can forget the Giganotosaurus. What is that? Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. But one species that I am sure completely blew you guys away in the cinema was the Therizinosaurus. The Therizinosaurus was a herbivore dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period and was primarily taking residency within what is now known as Mongolia. The same place of where the more popular known dinosaur Velociraptor was originally discovered. But what stands out the most about this dinosaur is its stunning appearance, its size, and the feathers. Therizinosaurus is the first feathered dinosaur that appears on screen in the main timeline of the movies and shows. But what also stands out about this creature is the sheer size of it, where it matches up with the size of Tyrannosaurus rex and also just a little bit smaller of the Giganotosaurus. Ultimately though, we know how that ended, proving that size doesn't matter. However, the Therizinosaurus is most known for its claws, and it definitely made them stand out in the movie. From slapping a deer for being in its territory, to completely impaling the Giganotosaurus. But another feature that stood out on the Therizinosaurus was its eye. Yeah, something that I never thought I'd ever be discussing as the most important feature of the Therizinosaurus, given what it has with its massive claws. But the eye arguably stood out to most of us when we watched the movie the first time. We get an up close shot of the Therizinosaurus where Claire is dangling from the tree. Not only does the Therizinosaurus completely miss Claire dangling there, but the Therese eye also seems to be covered in some whiteness. Now, typically when someone or an animal goes blind, their pupil tends to turn a white looking colour. The same as to what we see in the Therizinosaurus's eye right here. This happens when the cataracts builds up over time of the eye not being used. Usually this means that the person, or the animal, has been blind for a while. Before I lost my eldest cat in 2019, I noticed a similar thing started to happen to his eye when he started to go blind. Cataracts, which is an accumulation of protein on the eye's lenses, tends to cover the eye, and when this happens, it blocks the light from passing through, which can cause partial or full vision loss. Some injuries of the eye, such as scratching the cornea, can also cause blindness. Taking another look at the Therizinosaurus's eye here, it seems as if the same thing has happened. It must have either scratched its eye and injured it, or instead just happened to have some cataracts. Now, originally I thought that the Therizinosaurus was only partially blind in just one eye. However, once we see the left eye of this creature, it seems as if it's got the same thing. Pairing that up with the fact that it didn't see Claire, this means that the Therizinosaurus is completely blind. But you must be wondering, but Swerve, how does the Therizinosaurus move around and completely slap that deer later? Well, there's actually a really good answer to this. Before we got our first ever introduction of the Therizinosaurus, we can hear it approaching Claire from a different angle, but we also hear some clucking sounds as well. At first, I didn't really look too deep into it, and I actually thought they were just plain sound effects. But now I know that the creature is blind, it makes complete sense. Now, the sounds that you hear in this scene coming from the Therizinosaurus, especially when it hears Claire fall to the ground, is the dinosaur using echolocation. 
For those who do not know, echolocation is a physiological process in which some animals must use to survive, where they create a sound that then reflects off objects such as trees, rocks, and even prey. Some animals use this to find out where they are, such as belugas, and some animals do this to hunt down prey. A great visual concept of echolocation can be found in simply the best movie ever to release, Morbius. Wait, does that mean that the Therizinosaurus actually has Morbius DNA within it? Does that mean that the multiverse has really opened? The multiverse has officially opened. My goodness, Jared Leto was right. The Therizinosaurus must be half Morbius. <laughs> Jokes aside, creatures that are well known for having echolocation are bats, dolphins, whales, and some other specific species of birds and rodents. We can clearly hear and see that the Therizinosaurus is making some clucking sounds whilst looking for Claire, which can only mean that this is the Therizinosaurus using some form of echolocation. Rather interesting if you were to ask me. Now, how did the Therizinosaurus know that the deer was just standing there where it was? Well, if we were to look at the animals that use echolocation in our world, all the terrestrial species that use echolocation typically have incredible acute hearing, sometimes even possible to detect heartbeats. Whilst I don't think that's the case with the Therizinosaurus, because it should have really detected Claire's heartbeat, I do think that it heard a deer munching on some berries, and once we pair that up with the fact that Therizinosaurus is known to be very, very territorial, there was only one way out for this deer. Now, as for the final fight, there aren't many HD looks of the Therizinosaurus online, so it's difficult to tell whether or not it is the same Therizinosaurus that we saw from the earlier scene in the movie, but it seemed to have held its ground very, very well, especially when it started to battle the Giganotosaurus, a bit too well. One part of me is saying, yes, that's a new Therizinosaurus, there were actually two of them, but the other side of me is saying, why on earth would there be two Therizinosauruses? but they'll only show one of them in each scene. So I am torn as to an explanation on its fighting ability whilst being supposedly blind within that surrounding. It doesn't make too much sense, but as soon as we get the movie on digital, we might be able to get a better understanding of it. Anywho, the main thing that you need to take away from today's video is the fact that the Therizinosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion, at least in the specific scene in the forest, when it stalks Claire and kills the deer, is in fact 100% completely blind. It relies on a very acute sense of hearing as well as echolocation to get around. Let's also not forget its sense of smell too. Overall, the Therizinosaurus was simply remarkable within the movie. It has easily got one of the best solo screen time of any dinosaur within the Jurassic franchise and has quickly gone up in my ranks as one of my favourite dinosaurs in the franchise too. It was simply astonishing and the shots with the cinematography used for this creature as well as the CGI was mesmerizing. Thank you so much for checking out today's theory video. This is also the official answer as to whether or not the Therizinosaurus was blinded Dominion, as people who have worked on the movie did state that they were told that the Therizinosaurus would rely on smell, echolocation, and hearing to get around. If you want me to answer more of your questions about Jurassic World Dominion, or you just want that little bit extra content of Jurassic, feel free to stay tuned on the channel and press the bell icon when you subscribe so you don't miss an upload. As for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment down your thoughts about the Therizinosaurus in Dominion, like the video enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new. But most importantly, make sure you're staying safe out there. I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Have sex, have sex. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.